Hey everybody, today is October 24th and this is the follow-up video to uh, the dinosaur kale that I grew in this little mini container. Uh, at the same time I also did one in the baby container and they're about the same size now. They're, they're started at the same time. Uh, I left this in the dark a few days when I went out of town so it's a little bit stretchy. Uh, not as sturdy as I, as I would like, but uh, I think they're doing just fine. So, uh, they're, these, because the container is so small, they run out of nutrients so fast. Look at this. So, it's only been two days and this, it's all gone already. And so, when I refill the nutrients, I just, that's the uh, container that I use. And it's a, it's, it's a very easy process. I just uh, take this container like this and then pour the nutrients in. Uh, leaving a gap between the roots and the net cup. So as long as it's slightly touching the net cup, that's usually about the how much I refill. And I do this about um, every three to four days. And look at this, uh, the roots on these, they're looking really not nice and healthy. And just cover this back so that no lights can penetrate through and cause algae to grow and then I just leave that under the light, my lights and these kale they require really good lightings and the light that I use is probably not strong enough so that's why it's, uh, it's a little bit stretchy and and looks kinda leggy but um, this is a test to see how well this would do in these later setup uh, I guess I'll do some more updates when uh, this grow a little bit more. Alright, that's all for now.